Um, earlier, as mentioned, I can expand a little bit more on the, the package theft that we had on February 26th. A lady had a package delivered on Main Street and she actually had a video camera facing her porch where she received deliveries. And it wasn't the greatest video, if anybody saw it on our Facebook page, but I put a, the video out with some still shots. And it took till about March 9th before we got a solid, credible tip. I actually had a guy flag me down last Thursday, late in the shift on Washington Avenue, saying, hey, you know, he was asking if we had solved it yet. And uh, told him no. I said we had a few leads that didn't pan out. He said, well, you know, that kid had a skateboard. He said, I know there's a house on Power Hill Road where I've seen a kid walk to with a skateboard. He goes, I don't know if that's good info, but I've seen a kid on a skateboard. So it didn't seem like much information, but in proximity to Main Street and Cook School Road, where it intersects with Bower Hill, it wasn't that far away. It just so happens this house, within the past year, had converted into an apartment building. Now, unfortunately, I had been in that same house last April for a drug overdose death. It has since converted to an apartment, so we looked up our landlord-tenant listings, and sure enough, that gave us a name of the tenant of the upper apartment. So I went there on Friday to make contact, and lo and behold, when I walked up on the back porch, the box that he had taken was sitting on his back porch with the lady's shipping address on it. We call that a clue. I'll get to that. So, um, came back, got some guys together, we got a search warrant, we went back to the apartment later that morning, and sure enough, the item that he took was a 15 pound weighted blanket, which is normally used for kids to help them sleep better at night, kids that have trouble sleeping, anxiety, and whatnot. So, we were able to seize the blanket, and of course, drugs and paraphernalia. Uh, the gentleman had given himself a haircut prior to us coming back the second time out on his porch. But um, I had asked him, and you know, I showed him the video. I said, you know, do you know who that is? And he was just staring like, you know, and he, he fessed up later on. But he, he didn't see the Facebook because he didn't have access to Wi-Fi. So he didn't see himself until that day. But no matter the information, sometimes the smallest tidbits, you know, hey, I saw a kid on a skateboard go to this house. You know, it panned out for us. You know, so it uh, it worked once again.